Mark Rege was a senior advisor to the Israeli Prime Minister. He's told US news network MSNBC that Israel has a history of targeting what he called terrorists on foreign soil. We can speculate if you like, but uh, let's uh, be clear, Israel has not taken responsibility. And I think it should be clear, Israel uh, has in the past, of course, uh, uh, dealt with terrorists when they're in foreign countries. And the truth is, I think you'll find that my prime minister, my defense minister, my chief of staff have all said in the past that people, terrorist commanders involved in killing Israeli civilians, anyone involved in the October 7th massacre uh, uh, is a legitimate target. Let's speak to Laura Khan, who's in occupied East Jerusalem. Israel doesn't usually publicly acknowledge responsibility in incidents like this. What's the reaction been, though? Well, this time it's no different. Israel is neither confirming or denying it had anything to do with this assassination um, in Lebanon of Saleh al -Aburi. Uh Now, lo not long after it happened, Daniel Hagari, the spokesperson for the army, uh, he skirted the question as to whether Israel had anything to do with it, but he did say they are in high alert and they are prepared, uh, most likely bracing themselves for retaliatory strikes coming from Hezbollah, considering it all happened on Lebanese soil. Uh, now, in terms of Israeli reaction uh, from the Knesset, the secretary of the Knesset has asked people to be quiet. A few people have been coming out of the woodworks, including MK Danny Danon. He thanked the Israeli army, but also the internal and external security services, Shin Beit and Mossad, for the assassination of Al Aruri. Um, somebody who's rarely quiet as well was a finance minister, Bezalel Smotrich, who says they will go after Israel's enemies. Uh, now, this kind of rhetoric um, has been quite normal from Israel, specifically since October the 7th. There was a leak from Shin Beit in December that they are um, targeting Hamas members in every country, in, in many countries, um, including in Gaza, but they do have a long reach. Uh, Netanyahu and also Defence Minister Yoav Gallant made it clear that they are fighting a war on seven different fronts, and this includes Lebanon. So one thing we know for sure is they're certainly bracing themselves for any retaliation now. Laura, thank you very much indeed. Laura Khan talking to us from Occupied East Jerusalem.